Hello, it's on 824 a.m. So I have the phone turned down towards the floor so that perps like Starbreaker wouldn't um, try to call up a place and tell them, oh, she's doing videos about you and stuff, show them my videos. So, <clears throat> um, today there is not that much work to do because we had an employee party last night and well at work yesterday I had a good day even though I worked I did say that in another video that I worked um, well exactly 7.95 straight hours with no breaks and um, we didn't get to eat lunch yesterday I didn't get to eat breakfast or lunch yesterday but I had like an afternoon snack around five a little after five o'clock well a couple of small little snacks and then um after that it took a little a couple of hours and I had a good time at the party I didn't do any of the um activities I just you know ate that was my free dinner and you know I, I ate and then I left and I got almost no sleep last night except um after I did that video it was after 3 30 in the morning and the little bit of sleep that I got I had a nightmare um it was very disturbing and the perps would use that they would twist what I say and use that as a weapon against me so I wish I could talk about it but I figured it was um has something to do with dream manipulation, part of the dream manipulation and possibly witchcraft involved as well. Um, so, there's not much work to do today. So, um, my, my, one of my co, one of my co-workers that's on the cleaning crew, one of them, you know, the, I'm going to say his name again, the Roderick guy, you know, since some people would call that passive aggressive, that, you know, he thinks he has the authority to try to, you know, punish me with the silent treatment ever since, you know, I, I told him, you know, stood up to him trying to boss me, trying to order me around and tell me what to do and try to think he can handle up on me and stuff. So now he's been doing like petty, stupid, passive aggressive, immature, childish shit. Like, um, you know, this morning, hold up. Th this morning, he had, um, th this morning he had, um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it was him because nobody really used the bathrooms. But I caught him, you know, coming out of the bathroom. And um, I saw, like, he purposely put toilet paper on the, um, on the floor in the bathroom. And then he deliberately, some kind of way, purposely put, like, kind of a lot of water on the floor on purpose so that I have to mop come come and mop it and stuff like that but oh I can't tell my boss because then it'll be look, look like I'm the petty title tail and the troublemaker you know so you know and he doing passive aggressive petty stuff um like purposely putting water on the floor on purpose and then like kind of stump his footsteps on it you know on purpose to make the floor dirty and um also i mean because if i keep on reporting and quote unquote complaining if i keep reporting then they want to fire me they're not going to do anything to him but if he report me they're still going to want to fire me oh i'm still the problem you know and it seemed like he trying to deliberate workplace mob and bullying me on giving like walking around every like every morning he walk around with an artificial over exaggerated fake pouting 
kind of mad, fake mad look, you know, thinking he can try to frighten and intimidate and in, intimidate me, and then he purposely treat me like I don't exist. While exactly, um, you, you know, he'll purposely turn his head away from me and um, you know treat me like I'm invisible. But then doing harassing stuff like. Shortly after he came out of the bathroom, then he did like a child would do, you know, deliberately and on purpose, um, skid his feet to make loud noises on purpose, you know, skidding and dragging his feet, feet just being immature on purpose to try to get me to say something. And it's like, damn, in this small little group of three or four of us, it has to be one perp. The other two men don't perk me, at least not yet. You know, and so this is the guy who acted like he sexually wanted me and talking about massaging me and stuff like that. And then, you know, he got a whole damn girlfriend. You know, I don't, I don't play that and I don't do that. You know, so um, I've dealt with moments when I've been raped by guys who act like they sexually want me and then they turn around and treat me like I'm super slow and retarded with no sense. And then next thing you know, before I know it, I'm being raped, you know. So I had a nightmare last night, I mean, this early this morning about being raped, but I wish I, I would like to talk about it, but I don't want to go into detail, but it was disturbing. And then <coughs> there was an image of somebody was violently, forcefully, unwanted, and intrusively in my mind, like as if the perps remotely or electronically put this image in my head about this person from my past, from my childhood, that I wish wish I could talk about, and also this person I was raped by. I mean, no, I didn't get raped in a nightmare, in a dream, but somebody, this person, nearly a guy, I mean, an older man, he nearly succeeded at raping me in a, in a dream, in a nightmare. But then a relative of his, I think that Perp being this image of one of his relatives, you know, in my mind, and like as if I was visually seeing it for real, and I just could not get it out of my mind. It was kind of difficult to explain. It's, you know, that whatever technology that they use you know, that some people say that technology is witchcraft related as well. You know, so. Um, it's very fucked up that I'm homeless and these perps have a place to live. They have a place to live and they have a damn car. But yet I'm homeless trying to better myself. And they're doing stuff like trying to perp me and trying to mob me and trying to drive me off the job on purpose. You know, and then smear campaigning me and make, trying to make everybody, you know, trying to say, oh, don't fuck with her. She's crazy and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, I had a good time at the party. I don't really party, but I stayed off to myself when I just, you know, enjoyed the food and I stayed off to myself. And I had to use the bathroom and then I came to my sleep spot and I got almost no sleep last night, but I'll say I think I probably got less than an hour or less than 30 minutes of sleep last night, I mean early this morning, just to end up with a freaking nightmare, a traumatizing nightmare, you know, so this video turned out to be longer than I intended, but um, even if it wasn't the Roger guy, it was another guy who went and used the bathroom. And it's like, if you, I don't know if he was, had an Orkin, O-R-K-I-N, like Orkin Man or some business he worked for, some company or whatever. And um, I don't know if it could have been him, but I'm like, well, this guy doesn't know me. But Roderick had been, you know, even though I'm still kind of new, been here in less than a month and he had like a history of, you know, perking me and bullying me and stuff. You know, the the boss, one of the bosses said, just cool off for a few days and not speak to each other. But he wants to make, I mean, he would have acted like this anyway towards me. You know, the 
and the, and the guy Roderick acting like you know he, he you know how narcissistic abusers when they try to order you, trying to control you when they get mad at you and then when they get mad and get in your face and try to get gangster and ghetto on you and then trying to trying to frighten you and intimidate trying to make you really they try to make you really really scared of them you know so it's like as I say, if they have a roof, people have a roof over their head in the car and stuff like that, like, why the hell, if I'm homeless with no place, to, like, why, why the hell y'all, you're trying to run me off the job on purpose, trying to drive me to um get frustrated and just quit, you know, and sometimes people do, like, even perps would do, like, a whole bunch of just petty little shit that you know, it'll be a, a whole bunch of different things from different people that would just build up and then e you, the target, would eventually explode and go off or lash out and then everybody think you're freaking dangerous, you know. But you don't even have to be dangerous. You just, you know, you, you can just have like, a, you can have like a minor little outburst and they'll get over-exaggerated pretending to be fake frightening and say, oh, you know, you, you're dangerous. Like, if you just, if you just, um, like, say, if I were to just get mad and slam the broom down and clock out and be like, I quit, you know, and then everybody be, like, looking at each other, like, all shocked and stuff like that and make, make a whole instigation and stuff and make a whole scene and stuff. Y'all, did y'all see that? When they freaking manufactured something like this and then just got what they wanted and then gossip and laugh about you behind your back and think it's funny and stuff to destroy a target, a targeted individual. So, as I said, I, I mean, I might have a couple of little tasks to do. Um, I already did a few little things, but as I said, I'm just documenting. I know it was Roderick that did that, you know, and then he'll do petty stuff like there's a piano downstairs and then um, he'll do stuff like walk by the piano and then just play with the keys on purpose, you know, for noise harassment and stuff like, or blast super loud music from his Bluetooth and then say along with it and stuff like that. And it seemed like, well, all my freaking favorite songs that's on my MP3 player or my or some of my YouTube playlists playlists and stuff like how the hell you got the same songs like but like that guy um that's right next door that was perfect me that gave me a problem that was by my sleep spot you know with that new fake restaurant that he got you know he um it seemed like they played like damn almost all the songs are the songs on my mp3 player certain restaurants is almost all the songs on my mp3 player <coughs> and then I don't like or I don't listen to e anything even close to the song Hotel California, but it seemed like there was a point in time where the past few days they've been, the gang stalkers, I guess, been hurt, perfing me with the Hotel California song. And that's one song I don't like, you know, and it's like, why they want to try to force me to hear this song? You know, so I'm going to go for now and stop r rambling. I'm just, um, but before I go, somebody try to say, well, oh, I enjoy your, he's a fake, he acted like a fake T.I. perp, he or she acted like a fake T.I. perp and came on my page and said, oh, I enjoy your videos, but man, you need to get to the point, and it seems like you be mocking people and stuff like that. I'm like, mock people how? Y you know, so... And then David Jane come on and say, oh, sh yeah, she does mock people. No, I don't. You know, so... It seems like David would comment, create a new channel and comment under um, people who, people who, like even some people who are supportive of me. It seems like he would try to comment, comment on my page for lies, and then um, turn all my the little bit of support that I have left. I can't believe David is smart and clever enough to do this because. He damn sure acted like a dummy when we were in Los Angeles, but I was still a supportive friend and didn't judge him. <laughs>